All right, guys, in this lesson, we're going to be um, stepping it up. We're going to be doing something called handicap training. Now, um, I was kind of faced in, in, in many times. I remember working in the club and, um, you know, I was training three, four, five times a week, sparring, fighting. And it happened often where I would get injured, but I still had to go to the club. I still had to work. And I remember feeling that, shit, I can't, I can't, you know, step on my leg properly. I can't move my hand as good. And that's when I started creating different handicap drills and meaning uh, pressure testing and putting my students under situations where I would take out certain strikes, limit their mobility just to force them to train and work a certain specific area and as well challenge their mind to be able to adapt and learn how to strike from any situation. So I put together a little handicap workout, okay? So first thing is we're gonna start with one arm striking. So you're gonna be putting one arm behind your back, one hand up, and now the idea is, again, striking with one arm. Use the other arm now. So that forces me working just one arm. So I'm using still my legs. Knees, elbowing, hammer fist, neck cranking, head butting, using my other tools. Now we're gonna do it with the eyes closed. Working on just feeling, feeling where the head is, are, is where the throat is. Neck cranking, eye gouging, and sticking. So important because when you're fighting you're in close quarter range you won't see the strike you're gonna feel the strike so you want to be able to be able to strike without having 
You're not going to look at the target when you're going to hit it at that range. Next one, hands behind your back. Here you got your hands tied. You know, you got your hands tied. Again, it's just to work. This over here. I'm using my body, my shoulder, just to crash. See this one, it's developed to work your mind to force you to strike. What am I doing with this? It's like as if I'm even I'm trapping and I'm learning boom how to come in. Boom, my shoulder, crash forward, get them off balance. If your hands are tied, you learn how to use every other tool. Next. One leg, so I'm only gonna be on one leg. Pick a leg. Even hit the camera, guys. That one was a tough one, one leg. Because I hurt my foot playing basketball a couple of weeks ago with my son. I said, what if I had to fight on one leg? I tried to throw a knee with one leg. I realized I would have, I would have fell on the ground. So what does that teach me? That teaches me, no. That teaches me that it wouldn't work while I'm doing the video. Next one. Close the eyes, just fear.
That. That's tough, guys. You see, I even did some stuff that, I mean, be creative. I used my boom us to buck him. I did stuff like, you know, fingers in the eyes, just try to find the target, elbow backwards. I did stuff like just boom, smash his neck and his nose in the back of my head. What these type of exercises do, they teach you to be creative. They teach you to, to learn how to fight with instinct in the moment, to find the target. In a real life situation, you go into tunnel vision, gross motor skills. That's why we try to keep everything I teach simple, right? And sometimes you might be here just, oh, you might just do this and get an eye. Maybe not, but it doesn't matter because if I do this, I'm doing this, and then I'm doing this, and then I'm coming here, and then I'm coming here. The idea is to learn how to chain your strikes together. And that's what these drills do, especially the handicap drill, guys. Again, play with it. Play with it. Be creative. Create your own things. You could do the same thing on the ground if you want to do it. And you guys can see it's a crazy workout. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week.